Hello and welcome. Keep your hand in your skirt podcast. My name is Sabrina Brightstar. I am your host. Today's topic is a question from you, one of the audience members. And the question is, how, what do I do with relatives, loved ones who are asleep? I am stressed. I'm worried. I'm concerned. Do you have any tips, ideas on how I help people that I care about who are asleep or not interested in the Great Awakening? So I am happy to share my point of view. Uh, First, I always suggest go in and ask your own multidimensional self. Take a conscious breath, go into your heart and ask yourself, hey, multidimensional self, what is my point of view about loved ones who are asleep? And each one of us is going to get our own customized answer. And the answer you get might be the best answer of all. But I'll go ahead and share my answer with you. I do appreciate your questions. So if you have a question for me, you go to sabrinabrightstar.com. On my podcast page, there's a link for you to ask your questions. And I really appreciate your questions. So let's get into it. My point of view on how to help someone who is spiritually uninterested, not curious, deep asleep, a muggle, whatever language you want to word it. Well, when I think about this topic, my point of view might be a little controversial, (laughs) as, as so many of the things that I believe in. But when I think about worrying, if I'm worried about somebody that I really, really love, is the frequency of worry a benefit or of service to them? That's an interesting question to self-reflect on. When I'm worried about someone, when I'm afraid for someone, when I have fear-based thinking, what happens with those types of thoughts? Usually thoughts beget more thoughts. Law of momentum is we get more of what we think about. We get more of where we're focused at. You know, where our attention goes, the energy flows. So law of momentum is it's just a natural amplifier. It gets bigger, it gets broader. So if I start to spiral out on worry about someone that I really care about, so I'm coming from a really pure place, my heart is really pure, but I'm really stressed, I'm really worried, I'm really fearful for someone, are those projecting thoughts of service to them and are they of service to me? Ooh, <laughs> Right? Like it's hard to do self reflecting because most of us, starseeds, light workers, way showers, we are wired to have such huge, generous hearts. We care so deeply, right? We love so purely. We just, we are so generous, generous in our, our love and our care. And so when we start spiraling out on fear and worry that someone is deep asleep or they're not waking up or they have no interest or they're drinking the Kool-Aid or they're, you know, they are being manipulated, how does that provide any support to them or to yourself? That's just a question I'm suggesting for people. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to ask you to like and subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel or this podcast, wherever you're watching. Thank you. So so first of all, I like to do that self-reflecting question. Second of all, I think about from a place of if I could be a contribution to this person that I love, what would be the best way I could be a contribution? <coughs> then one thing that we all have access to is you can just go into your heart you can talk to your multidimensional aspects and just ask your multidimensional aspects that that question. Like, hey, uh, multidimensional self, pretend you want to help Susie. Like, I love Susie. She's deep asleep. She's drinking the Kool-Aid. She's believing in things. She's being controlled and manipulated by the agenda. Like, how, how do I support or how can I show up for Susie? How can I be a gift and a contribution to drop some seeds into Susie's awareness, into Susie's field? And you might get different hits and ideas for each individual that you're asking about. And you might just do a collective like, hey, how can I be a bigger support to the collective, to to the whole conscious uh, collective that is still like deep inside the program and see what you get. When I go in and I ask myself, the answer that I come up with for me is for me to live more purely what it is that I know. 
So the more I can embody my knowing, the more I can live my knowing, the more I can demonstrate like a pure knowing of the 5D multidimensional realm that's available, the 5D timeline that's here and available right now, the, the 5D abundance mindset, the 5D unity, harmony, the quantum field where there is inclusiveness, everyone is connected. The more I can be in my heart space and live from that place, I feel like the deeper I can get into that knowing, the deeper I can get into a pure 5D space of my own being, I feel like I'm a gift and a contribution because it widens my field, it amplifies my field, it brightens my light, so to speak. So the more inner work I can do, the more alignment I can do, the more balancing I can do, you know, aligning my masculine and my feminine, aligning my dark side and my light side, aligning all my different personality selves, my different emotional aspects. The more I can bring myself into alignment and really anchor into my 5D heart, and that when you start spending more and more of your time in your 5D heart, your 5D heart space gets bigger. Your capacities get wider. Your abilities grow exponentially. So you can be feeling so much love from your 5D heart space today. And you've just been, you've just hit the tip of the iceberg because the more time you spend there, the more you, you align with that aspect of you that that it's like a muscle, it grows, it gets bigger. It's like an iceberg. There's so much that we have not yet even accessed. So as so many of us are really experiencing the new timeline and the more like even today I did a connection and we were talking about like what, what does our multidimensional self want us to know that we don't know? And that was the answer I got just today, that the more I align and spend in my 5D heart, the more I can see I'm nowhere. I haven't even begun to get inside my 5D heart. It's like a huge giant iceberg. I am just on the tip, 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 tippy top of this iceberg. And I have this huge, voluminous, huge, spacious container to, to drop into as I can keep growing, as I can acclimate, as I can invest more of my time and energy, as I can have a pure place inside my 5D space. So for me, that's what I feel that I can do for loved ones is really do my own work, really focus on my own set point, raise my own vibration, do do the work for myself so I can come from a pure place and then just trust. I, For me, I want to trust that there is an intelligence, that the person who is asleep is going to wake up at the right perfect time for them and nothing has gone wrong. I... I for me, I don't want to worry for people. I don't want to project worry. I don't want to project fear into the collective consciousness. I don't want to project um, concern, scarcity thoughts. I want to trust and I want to know things are working. Anything is possible. They can, uh, seeds are dropping in their fields all the time. They could have a dream tonight and tomorrow they can all of a sudden have a new a, a new question. They can have a, a, a new curiosity. They can find a book tomorrow. They can meet a new person tomorrow. They can ha uh, have an experience in the car. They can hear a song on a radio. Like there are so many ways our divine counterparts can be dropping information into our fields to help us on our journey for our spiritual awakening. So I feel for me, the best thing I can do is manage my own vibration and be very mindful that I don't want to project fear-based thoughts on people that I love. And I want to trust that there, there is a divine unity at play, a divine intelligence at play, and things are going to unfold. And we're, we're all we're all on the separation planet. We're all having our journey and we're all evolving. And it's okay that we evolved at different speeds. Nothing has gone wrong. So thank you for your questions. Please uh, go to sabrinabrightstar.com for any other additional questions.